Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Trifker, coming at you with another episode of Pokemon Present. And in the last episode, we... What did we do? We found the thief who had the key to the, like, the archives or whatever. <laughs> um, and, yeah, she was in the tower. The windmill, that is. And we got the key. And now we're in front of Palermo's house. And, yeah, we're in looking for information. Because um, the mob boss's wife, um, who is the police chief's wife, <laughs> spoilers, uh, she took the last file that we needed. And so we're checking his house for, I forgot what we need out of here, but we're hoping that we get it before she does. Let's, ooh, is this a, it's a book called Piano Puzzles for Beginners. Stand on a specially marked floorboard and walk in a specific pattern to play a little tune. Either that or summon Reggie guys. <laughs> That's funny. Let's help with my investigation. Now probably isn't the time to play piano. What about the cello? It's time to play. Is it? Fair enough. This is no interest in open. Oh, here we go. This red book has sheet music in it. Should I look at it? Um, red song, C G G F. Why is there a time? Darn. What? C oh C G G F A A okay so C G G F A A wait what why did the can't stop in the middle of a puddle hold up okay okay. There, I did it. <laughs> right? D did I do it? I don't understand this puzzle. So C G G F A A. So C C C G G F A. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. And this is really just ticking me off. <laughs> like, I don't understand what this puzzle is supposed to be. Let's see. Like, I don't understand what, what this is meant to be, but I get that this is supposed to be some type of puzzle, but, like, this is, this is kind of a dumb puzzle. <laughs> so, da, 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 so, da, 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 yeah, right? Okay, hold up. Maybe. So up, right, right, down, A, A. Okay. So up, right, right, down, A, A. There we go. <laughs> Ooh, we freaking did it. Alright, let me save. <laughs> There we go. Alright, we did it. I have no reason to look at this book now. I have no reason to look at this book now. Oh, did it not matter which one I did? <laughs> okay, well, I got one of them. Oil painting, simple oil painting. Okay, well, cool, we did it. Oh, let me turn on that speed up. <laughs> Oh, 
Puzzle box with the letter combination mark. Should I try to solve the puzzle? Nah, dang it. Wait, how many keys? Two, three, four. Um. Okay. It didn't work. Yeah, cause I don't, I don't know what the code is. Oof, the speed up is lagging a bit. Let me turn it off. R. L. A. P. E. Indigo book has. So there are what? How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But there are seven letters though. Hmm. I don't know. I'll deal with that later. Because <laughs> I guess this whole house is just a freaking puzzle. Yellow and green can't be trusted. Green is like a total liar. Okay, so don't trust the green book. <laughs> that green is the least trustworthy of us all, believe us. Red and yellow hold a grudge against me. Blue, blue, I don't really care. What's the point of trying? What's the use of lying? Four of us are trustworthy. The indigo's nothing but a liar. I'm indigo. I'm also completely untrustworthy. But if Indigo is a liar, then that statement would be true. But then if it were true, then he would be a liar. So don't trust Indigo, and then don't trust Green. So that leaves one, two, three, four, five. That's the least five books, though. I don't really care. What's even the point of trying? So use and lying. Four of us are trustworthy. Indigo's nothing but a liar. I'm Indigo. Hold a grudge against me. That green is the least trustworthy of us all. Believe us. But then that says <laughs> yellow and green can't be trusted. Alright, well, whatever. I'll trust the two red books then. So I'll go with purple and blue. Yeah, purple, blue, red, and yellow, I guess. <laughs> like, it's, it's all I got. Oops. There we go. Okay. So red, so that's an R. An orange book has the letter L. So don't trust a yellow, green, and indigo. So E. So don't trust that. So we have R. So we have R, E, H. Okay, hold up. <laughs> I need to write these down so that I don't forget them. So we have R. L. And we don't trust the yellow book. E. And then the purple. Oh. Hold up. Is it Leo? Leo. That didn't work. Uh, Leo? That didn't work either. Well, with R E. With R, L, E, and O, I can't make anything with that. Let me look at Indigo. Maybe Indigo is right. H. 
and then the green book has a P. So green has a P. Then this yellow book has an A. Hey man, I'm gonna spell Ralph because why not? Oh, I can't. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pause till I figure this out. Okay, let's try this again. Oops, there we go. Uh, is it hope? <laughs> that it's not hope. Hold up. Just in case. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I just used an anagram generator. <laughs> Or an anagram solver, uh, arrow, uh, Earl, uh, leap, because it's a four letter word, I know that much. Um, then there's rope, uh, Opal. I mean, pale? I don't under. This is pissing me off again. Lore. Did I do rope yet? Real? <laughs> um. I highly doubt that it would be rape. <laughs> I don't know what this stupid thing- Oral. <laughs> this is- this is stupid. Okay, so it, it, it pissed me off and so I'm done. <laughs> like, I can't figure it out. Like, that's so stupid. Like, there's only a certain combination of words that I can make with those freaking letters. What is this? Poke it all. Poke it all. Poke it all. Lucille has a variety of things pinned. Volunteer hours. New stories about the daycare. High fashion. It's all pretty innocuous. This is why, for some reason, the tune makes me think about Violet. I guess you still and I share a vice. What are those cigars? <laughs> I thought that was bacon this whole time. It's like a letter draft of some sort. Letter draft. Letter draft. I don't. Oh, a safe. Ah, oh, great. Freaking numbers. I don't know what the heck it is. <sighs> this is dumb. Small room. To be honest, I really don't feel like resting here to let my Pokemon heal. There's a handful of things at this nightstand that to give interest, though. Cell journal dated a couple years ago, which is should I read? January 5th. I'm worried about the daycare and Lucille. She hasn't said it in so many words, but it seems like the gangsters of the area have been harassing her while I'm out. I offered to switch work schedules with her, but she denied that anything was wrong. She did, however, accept the spicy spray I offered her. I don't envy the next mobster who will get a face with a liquid spling on and lychee berries. So pepper spray? No! <sighs> Dang it. Okay. <sighs> April 22nd. 
I called in the favor with the matriarch of the Lafayette family, Maisie, who we moved out from the daycare and into a preserved home in Old View, in Old Riverview. The neighbors of the Lafayette family has a long-standing agreement with the Leonardos, uh, the lower but Echelon mobsters aren't allowed to enter Old Riverview. Maisie refused to explain why or how they maintain this agreement, though. In combination with that, Lucille has been picking up more shifts at her work. It means she spends less time helping at the daycare, but she seems more at ease. November 1st, my daughter introduced me to her new boyfriend. I was wrong. I was wrong, I was wrong, I was wrong. The remainder of the page is ripped out. Hmm, the page fell out of the journal. It looks like it was torn out and then placed back. Won't talk about what happened to her fiance. She's become more stoic than ever. I can't tell if her new boyfriend is a way to cope or if she was seeing him before. At the very least, Leonardo sounds like a nice man, if a bit of a pushover. There's another scrap of paper attached to this entry. The fourth code slip. Um, okay. So I guess we have two of the four code slips, so... Hold up, let me... Oh, a slip of paper with the number 84 on it. A slip of paper with the number 5. Okay, so... Yeah, I guess we need to find out these freaking codes. What the heck is this? Dinner table? Stack of books. Cookbook. Stack of books. Let me save, man. the heck? It's a bucket. The puzzle box with a picture of the kitchen floor on it. Should I try to solve the puzzle? Oh boy. Oh love. Okay, well... Oh wait, do I just need to like copy this exactly? Oh yeah, I guess I do. Okay, so I can just straight up take a picture of that. <laughs> Not bad. Okay. That should be easy to do then. Click. Let's see. Alright, come on, picture. Alright, so we got red, green, blue, and white. And then blue, green, and white. Blue, white, and green. That. Alright, well, that's it then. Gave up. What do you mean, gave up? Ah, dang it. They have different things in them. Okay, well. I'm gonna pause. Okay, ladies and gents, this should be it. Yes. Cool. Got it. There's something inside the box. Yes, the first code slip. Okay, so we got like three out of the three out of the four. I'm gonna end off this episode here and hopefully we can try to figure out what those stupid books are talking about in the next episode but if you enjoyed in the comment like and subscribe subscribe and if you didn't enjoy it leave a dislike and a comment to let me know how i can get better and with that i will see you in the next episode bye <laughs>